everybody, this is Chuck and thanks for stopping by the shop. Well, if you're like me, I'm not an electrician and electricity scares the, the bejesus out of me. But you probably, if you're like me, you have all of these items here. You got a digital multi-tester, you got a wiggy, you got a um, voltage tester that uh, non-touching that'll read. You got a smaller digital ohm meter and you got a temperature gun. I'll tell you the temperature or something. Well, they all, they're all here, they all work. They've all kept me safe. But let's take away all of that. And let's do it in one meter. One meter only. I'm pretty excited about this. As you can see, this product came from Vivor. They sent it to me to do a uh, review on it and a test. And uh, I'm quite excited that uh, I requested it and they did send it to me. A quick overview on it. Uh, the instrument is a true RMS auto range digital clamp meter designed to measure DC and AC voltage DC and AC current, resistance continuity, diode, capacitance, frequency, duty cycle, and temperature. It features inrush current measurement, VFD voltage measurement, VFD current measurement, and non-contact AC voltage detection. Relative measurement, minimum max, data holds, bar graph, backlight, low battery indicator, it's the, uh, it's the cat's meow. Um, you've heard me say that before. Um, I've been uh, running the uh, unit through quite a different test here just to educate myself on it. The actual handbook that came with it, uh, of course, it's multi-language, um, but uh, it basically explains everything. I'm not uh, an electronic genius by any means, uh, and I, I know to uh, make sure the power is off when I go to uh, touch anything. But uh, it, let's, let's uh, we'll play with it here for a little bit and show you a couple things if you got a couple moments to spend with me. It also comes with probes for uh, temperature. The temperature goes up to 1800 degrees, which is kind of good for me since I have a heat treat oven. I can actually double check my heat treat oven because it has just a analog gauge. Um, so that'll, I'm looking forward to using that. Let me uh, get set up here and uh, we'll take a look at a couple things. Okay, let's, uh, let's start off with a couple of things. So it has a dial here that you can turn. So we're going to turn it to the first, first here which is you, if you want to check to see if something has voltage or not. And you can see the light blinking there. So just setting that there picks up the voltage. Tells me that that line has voltage. You can also clamp, you can also clamp on, a, on a wire to check it that way also. So I'm kind of, kind of pumped about that. Nice little feature. Otherwise, you needed your little tester like this. Turn it on, and you got to come over, and it should. See, it doesn't, there it goes. It's reading on the cord, and it'll read on the outlet. But you got to carry a second item with you. So, okay, let's go to voltage. Well, let's, let's look at something right here. Uh, interesting enough, it's telling me that it's 24 centigrade right now. This unit reads the ambient temperature around it without the temperature probes in it. Um, when you put the temperature, temperature probes in, in it, it'll tell you both centigrade and Fahrenheit. I haven't been able to figure out how to switch it to Fahrenheit only. I don't know if it'll do that, to be honest with you. The dial has a light here where it'll light up also. And it also has a light here on the end of it when you're reaching into a panel. Kind of nice. So if we go to voltage, <coughs> right now we are on 
Uh, let's see. We will do. You can select through it. So we are on. Let me get it right straight here. Voltage. So here's a simple one. Here's a battery, one and a half volt battery. If I can get my hands on here and touch it. Come on, there it is, one and a half volts. How many times have you wanted to know if a battery was dead? There it is right there. Do it real simple. It, it also shows you polarity. So I have it there. I'm not touching right. I'm not touching right. There it is. So it's showing that the polarity is correct. If I was to switch the black and red leads here, it will show me, there's a line right here that shows up at the bottom, that shows me that the polarity is backwards. Pretty cool. Never knew that before. Voltage, um, if we want to go to high voltage, shows 117 volts on this plug here where I'm plugged in and up here in this corner right here it's also showing us it's showing us the uh, the Hertz and it was uh, 60 Hertz so two things show up in the same dial there if we go to uh, resistance or ohms so Touch the two together, we get a reading. Click it together, now we, now we have the, the uh, sound actuator, which is nice if you're under a dashboard or something, working on a car that you want to find out if something has continuity. Here it is on a light. So here's a 12 volt light fixture, and it shows me that that fixture is good. Come on. It shows me the fixture is good if I quit spinning around. Nice setup. Everything's here with, within your hand. The, um, I'm not going to go over and show you uh, amps. It'll also do VFDs. It'll show you the, uh, the, the uh, inrush on the VFD. And you have the clamp that you can check for amperage. Again, uh, temperature, if you go up there and you remove these two probes. And you click in the two temperature probes. It's showing us right now 24, uh, 23 in centigrade and 74 in Fahrenheit. And there you can see it's, with me holding it, it's jumping up already 93. Holding it in my fingers, Fahrenheit. You can hold minimum, maximum, relative zero. I tell you, I'm uh, really happy that this uh, meter made it to my shop. I think it's uh, a good purchase. And like I said, you don't have to have all of that. Think of what all that costs um, quite a bit when you uh, start adding it up. Okay, it's just a quick review. Again, I'm a little bit of an amateur, so I'm learning on it also, on all the items that, it, that this unit can do. But I know I'm ahead of a game and will be safe in my shop. Thanks for uh, stopping by the channel, and uh, I hope you found this educational and, and had some enjoyment in it also.